take a shot and then wait it out. It's always a take it and push and make make the next play. Yeah, these guys both very, Rumble. very aggressive. We'll see whether or not Grim opts for the uh, shotgun. If he finds success, then there we go. And he'll use it. So Grim Voss over on your right, Luminosity on the left side of our screen, pushing towards center to try to get this first power engagement over with. We've got Grim in the cubby here. Luminosity taking the other cubby. And here comes Grim jumping out into the center. Oh. And that is going to be one point. Oh, that's actually going to be a, uh, that's splitting that kill. Yep, now it's going to be the race for the power <laughs> ammo. Both players, oh, got oh no, Grim gets stuck. Stopped up there a little bit. And Not ideal. It's going to be Luminosity picking up that power ammo. He's got his sniper rifle out already scoping in on Grim, who's trying to push up here. So Grim's going to have to try to close that gap, get in a little bit closer, and not give Luby any of those long sight lines to take advantage of. Here we go. Just like that, starts off getting a couple shots on him, turns into an SMG fight, and Grim goes down. Luminosity up 2-1 to one now with 4 minutes and 10 seconds left to play. And looking over to the side, taking a couple shots, almost getting that snipe, gets a good body on Grim, but Grim jumping up over the top. Lumi gets the nade out and oh is able to finish him off goodness. with that grenade. Three to one now for Luminosity in the first game of our final quarterfinal. Yeah, there's definitely a trade-off for using the sniper rifle in close range engagements, especially if you don't hit one of your first shots. You're going to be taking fire, taking that damage, and then there now all of a sudden you are being pushed with somebody who has got, got the higher health. You missed all your shots. So that's what's been working for Luminosity so far. He's lucky enough he's been hitting all the shots that he needs to. He has. Now that one that got away from him just a little bit, scoped into where he thought Grim was going to be. Grim was actually quite a bit closer. Started getting some damage on him. So now oh. playing in with the SMG and just lasering him over the top. Luminosity up 5-1 to one with 3 minutes and 20 seconds left to play here. Luminosity being a sneaky beaver right now with a lot of those different heights and coming around corners. And now he's actually dead. Yeah. <laughs> are, are, are beavers particularly sneaky? I, well, I, I, didn't, I didn't know that. Fun fact, I guess. Grim now also with the Three sniper sees left. Lumi off to the side, tries to get that headshot, not able to pull it. Lumi bounces back to the outside. And so now Luminosity pushing up, going to be coming out either through the drain or around the back. He's in center. It's an SMG fight once again. And we've got Luminosity taking that one. Six to two, two minutes and 45 seconds left to play. Luminosity picks up that power, moves oh. down to pick up a little bit more. And now he's going to go and try to find Grim wherever he is on the map, whether that's going to be crossing in front of that center aisle. Oh, boy. It is. Sounds like we might have a oh. change. OK, so Luminosity pushing back through. He's got the healing rift down for Grim. Luminosity is going to have to get out of there as he is absolute, trying to use the map to his advantage, sliding in behind that post, but not able to do it. Yeah, Lumi does a really good job of disengaging, using those slides, using any one of his dodges. And uh, so far, just, just like now, where he's at a health disadvantage, he avoids the grenade and is able to get out and get his health back. And that's kind of what's led to this three-point lead. Yeah, but Grim starting to close it up a little bit. Lumi was moving around just a little bit too much there. Grim got around and was able to get the SMG shots on there first. And so now it is six to four. Grim with that sniper rifle got the ping on the radar over to his left where Lumi is just waiting. And they start taking some oh, shots. Oh, Luminosity oh, able to finish him off with the hand cannon headshot though. Seven to four, minute and 40 seconds left to play now. Grim spawning back up. Only got a second or two left for this power, and it doesn't look like Lumi's going to be able to get up there in time to push him off of it. Snipe so, off. Pushing back towards center, we've got Grim going into the cubby. Lumi pretty much directly on the other side. Gets some SMG shots into him, chasing him now around the corner, and you know Lumi's just waiting to reset, turn back around, and try to bait Grim into one of those blind corners. Absolutely. That's what's making this lead definitely... Oh, oh my goodness, here we go. We've got Grimvoss within two points of Luminosity. One minute and 10 seconds left to go in game one. Let's see who's gonna be moving on to the quarterfinals, the semifinals. So, yeah, <laughs> so now we've got the, uh, we've got Arc Staff coming out of Luminosity and Grim's just gonna have to do his best to get away. He doesn't have a super up, no way to defend. And he's gonna have to run, essentially. Gets the nade out to try to defend and now turns around to take some shots. Avoids a couple of hits, doing a really good job oh. so far, but Luminosity catches up to him eventually. It is eight to five, dropping under a minute to play, 45 seconds. So Grim spawning back up down in the gulch, moving into mid. Lumi's got that scoped already with some really good hand cannon shots there and pushing back around to try to finish him off. Lumi trying to escape down into the temple. He's going to try and translate some of these pushes into kills faster rather than slower. Here we go. He's going to try and get one. 
He's got one. He's going yep. to push to the other side of the map, see if he can get ca catch Lumi out on the spawn. 20 seconds left to go, down by two. He's going to have to get two kills here. He does still have that super with a decent amount of power, but Lumi is going to use that maneuverability and stay away from him. Only 10 seconds left. He swap back over to Luminosity, trying to get some of those shots in there. Grim able to take him out eight to seven right now, but only five seconds left. And I don't think Grim's going to be able to make it over there in time he to win the match. Win so Matt, game one in the lead. Yeah, so now getting ready to fly into our next match. Doesn't look like any other major changes going on, and we are going to Burnout. So let's make it close range. Let's get close to each other on the map, I guess. Let's I, I'll let that one go. Get physical. Okay, Mumble. don't go that far. Okay, we don't need that. <laughs> Starting off, spawning up. We've got Grim on the right, Luminosity over on the left-hand side. Race to the center to grab power from zone B. So Luminosity pushing back instead through the altar, and we've got Grim throwing up a nade onto the bridge. Shots back at Luminosity, gets about half of his shields down, and not able to finish it up, trying to find him around the backside of that pillar. Heavy has pawn, and now it's just a play to see who can get it. Grim gets some good early shots nice. there and is able to take out Luminosity moving on. Once again, Luminosity with what was the better positioning in that first fight, um, being right next to the power ammo. If he was able to push off Grim in any way, he was going to be able to easily pull that sniper ammo. And uh, uh -oh. ends up going down Grim. There it is. There we go, all tied up. Yeah, so Luminosity was able to pick up some sniper ammo over on the other side of the map. He's got the body finished off with the hand cannon, and now Luminosity taking some shots, but Grim returning some shots and with a little bit better accuracy taking him down. So Grim Boss up two to one on four minutes left, and there oh. is a snipe coming in from Grim. Lumi goes down three to one now for Grim as Lu Lumi spawns back up. Yeah, you want to talk about what Grim needs to do to get back in this and win game two. He's got to be sniping. Lumi actually pulling out that kill right there uh, using the SMG. Yes. Uh, the inner accuracy of the SMG the working to his war. advantage right now with on that Hunter class. Exactly. Being able to track, and that is kind of one of the advantages too. Uh, sometimes if you're playing on controller and why you'll see a lot of these SMGs is that you do have a little bit more tracking. They're a little stickier. They've got the aim assist on there rather than playing with the mouse and keyboard. So SMG's out. Oh, Lumi had to reload. Bounces back out with zero health. You know Grim's hot on his tail trying to follow him. Lumi's going to have to figure out some way to reset this, dropping down and bouncing around. Now he's got the advantage on oh, Grim. Wow. Turns the situation around and pulls out that kill to tie the match. Three minutes and ten seconds left to play. Really great use of that arc bolt grenade. Actually, what seemed like almost at the maximum of range Pretty for much. that grenade. Three Gets a minutes. quick body on Grim. Going to try to meet him over here in this tumbler as he's coming through. And there we go, shot, wow. shot, 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 and four to three he now. Swapping back over to Grimm's perspective. We've got two minutes and 50 seconds to play, and he's pretty close, but not there yet. One kill behind. Taking some shots, Luminosity behind that pillar, dropping a healing rift on himself, and letting himself have a little bit more of a chance there. Oh there comes Lumi goodness. with the snipe, though, taking off his teeth. So Grim spawning back up in Hall, bouncing back up to Bridge, and then coming out through center. He's going to have to find that power, and he's going to have to find a way to avoid Luminosity, oh. who snipes him once again, taking a headshot and another kill. Six to three, Luminosity up on Grim. 2.16 left to play. Let me pulling out that sniper once again, gets the body, trying to follow it in, uses the arc bolt grenade to get Grim down again, and now he's just racking up kills. Grim has got to try to find a way to get in close with Luminosity so that he's not taking that damage prior to uh, being close with, with uh, <laughs> Luminosity. <laughs> yeah, looks like, okay, there we go, some shots. That aim was off, and that was kind of back and forth from both, but Lumi's still able to pull it out and get the kill on there. Eight to three with a minute and 45 seconds left to play here, and already scoping in as he jumps up over the top of the bridge. Off to his left is where Grim's gonna be. He sees the, uh, he's got the ping on the radar. Grim coming through, Lumi trying to take a quick shot, but Grim gonna get that one, eight to four. Minute and a half left to play. Let me spawning up outside in the west yard, and he's got his super ready. Now the question is, when's he going to use it? He gets the SMG fire on there, so he doesn't really need to yet. Oh Man, he has been destroying goodness. with those arc bolts, and is now only one point away from our 10 kill cap. And moving on to the semifinal. Yeah, he tossed it and on the left. And there it is. Tossed it on the left, went to the right to try and force 